Hello Aquarius! Thank you very much for tuning in to your general read. For the main part of the read, I'm using Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. For the support of Oracle Cards, Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. Okay. Uh, I do want to do the Oracle Cards first for whatever reason. I don't want to like, wave those all over the place for whatever reason. That's it. That's, that's it. Okay, so there you go. And I want the bottom card, whatever that. Well, two of them. Nope, done. Two is off. Okay. Moving forward here. Now, the situation you're a part of, it's kind of like... It's, it has its high points. It's almost like you're working forward and you're, you have like goals in mind. You're goal-oriented in a way. Um, the first one is the temple path. You're setting out on this situation. The first goal you're heading for from there is the man with man holding a heart. This is something you're expecting to really enjoy and love. It doesn't have to mean a romantic relationship, but whatever the situation, even if it's a work situation, you're expecting that this is going to work out to the point where you love doing it. You love being there. You love being around it. Whatever it is, person or situation, your first checkpoint is to love the situation and to make it a situation that you will love. Okay, so when I'm seeing you start out on the temple path, I actually see that this is something you're heading towards. This is not something you're a part of yet. When you're going towards this, or this might be the past, like this is why you even got into this. This is why you even started on this temple path. That's where you were heading. And you got the Eight of Cups. You set out from that. You may have been in a good spot to start with, and I feel like for the most of you, you were in a pretty good spot to start with. It just wasn't good enough, which is fine. I feel like that's a motivator of life. If you're deciding a situation is not exactly what you want it to be, you want something a little better, that's what motivates things. That's what creates change. You went towards it. You head out on this path. The Eight of Cups, it really feels like it's just... Uh, supporting that same idea. So you're heading out towards it. And I feel like as you start going towards this situation, you're getting some opposition. Opposition with the Queen of Wands and what number is that? The Nine of Wands. I'm getting your, you have some opposition or you had some opposition depending on where you are in this situation. And what you're heading for, it seems like somebody's trying to block you. Now, if you're going towards a better financial situation, somebody's telling you what you're doing is not going to work out, it's frivolous, or it's just they're not believing in you. If you're heading towards a better romantic situation or something like that, uh, people there's somebody saying that you're being um, you're expecting too much. Maybe that's what they're saying. Something like that. Like what you're going towards is just unrealistic, is what they're saying, and that your standards are too high. Somebody is getting in your way and saying whatever you're going towards, like you can't go towards that you're being unrealistic in one form or another. You're not about to accept that, though. You got the Page of Swords, which is telling me you're kind of pacifying this person who's ever trying to block you. You're just kind of smiling and nodding, but you're not really worried about it. You're just kind of like, all right, you can have your opinion, but I know where I'm going. I'm goal-oriented. I'm going to get what I want. You don't believe I can get it. doesn't change me getting it because I will get it. <laughs> you're not willing to let this person stop you. But you're not really fighting with them either. You're kind of holding them off and just kind of, okay, you have your opinion. You might not even be arguing with them, or at least you might just kind of be pacifying them, just like you're looking to get them out of your way. That's your goal. Just get them out of your way. So that's what you're doing. Fine. Two of Wands. You're, you're seeing your possibility come forward, and you're like, all right, Whatever you're going towards, person, situation, you're seeing what you want. You're like, all right, I see what I want. Now, how do I get it? The how do you get to it is very detailed for your situation is what I'm getting. So I know this is a general read, but I feel like basically you're working it out. You see what you want and you're going for it. I do see you're getting it. I also see like someone is giving you what you want. Basically, <clears throat> you want you see what you want, you go for it, and then you get it because somebody gives in to you. You probably, I feel like for a lot of you, you talk well to the situation and you convince this person or situation that you should be a part of it. 
and they're giving it to you. I don't feel like this is like the final win, but for example, if you're going for a better monetary situation, and we'll just use a job for argument's sake, this is kind of where you're getting in with the company you want, but maybe not the exact position you want, but you're headed in that direction. It's like first step, first goal attained. Because I'm getting this, um, a man holding a heart, which don't get caught up in the gender, but basically you got the first stable spot, you got the first stable result showing that you're on your way. You haven't, you haven't attained your goal yet. I don't feel like you've attained your goal yet, but you got the first victory in the war <laughs> the first battle victory to win the war, if you will. So you're heading in the right direction. And you're, you're seeing some things go your way. You've gotten far enough to get that confidence like, aha, see, you know, that queen of wands, but you don't get caught up in the gender, tried to block me and say, I couldn't do this. Well, guess what? Got my first goal. I'm proving that I can because I'm getting there. I'm heading that way and I got my first goal. I'm on my way. Now, you're very much solidifying yourself in this first step. Even if it's a person, and like, for example, if you're going towards a better romantic situation and this person has, they're spending time with you, one, one respect or another, they're spending time with you. You're reinforcing it, whatever it is, whatever the situation is, the four of wands is you're reinforcing this, you're locking this in. You're like, I'm, I've gotten this far and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fortify it so it's mine. And you are definitely fortifying that. This is a really good card. It's almost like, sometimes it's a contract card. So if it's like a job, for example, and you've started a new job, you're putting it down in writing like, this is where I'm starting, but as long as I hit these goals, this is where I'll end up. Something like that for some of you, that's where this is going. Now, you're continuing on your path because you know where you want to go. As you continue on your path, I'm getting like... This is becoming more challenging than you expected. And I'm getting the Eight of Swords. You've gotten so far, as far as you, well, you've gotten a good amount of, so far you've gotten pretty good. You've gone well with the, you've gone, there's a stop here. I'm, I'm getting there's a problem and I'm trying to get around it, but they're saying, no, you're hitting a roadblock. Basically, you're hitting a roadblock and I guess I just don't want to say it. There's a hitch in the road. For the goal you want, you're having a problem. I wanted to find a way around it, but they're like, that's not what we're saying. That's not what this is about. You got this far. You fortified it. Yes, you did good fortifying it. You did very well. But then you're hitting a roadblock, and you're stuck. That's the Eight of Swords. So they're like, don't try to make this nicer than it actually is. Just give it for what it is. Um, because you're hitting a roadblock. And what I'm getting, because of this roadblock, you're getting the Three of Wands. It looks like you might readjust your goal because of the roadblock you're hitting. I'm not going to say you can't still have your original goal, but it's becoming such a mountain that you're like, you know what? I was going to go right up over this mountain, but maybe there's another way. Maybe I could go around it. Maybe I could go under it. You know, there is this tunnel here. There's, there's, I don't know if it's a cave or a tunnel, but I might be able to get under it. And you're like, you're giving it another shot in the sense of like you're readjusting your goal. What I'm getting here is this change from your original goal is seeming to change your whole situation. Because what I'm getting is you're getting a new balance. Things are balancing out differently, and this is how this is going to play out in the end. You hit this roadblock, and you make it, you change your mind about what you want because of the mountain in front of you. And instead of going around the mountain or under the mountain, I feel like you're, it's, you're, you're changing your sights. You're like, you know what? There's a valley over here that's very nice <laughs> that I didn't see before. And you know, there's a lot of shelter there. There's a lot going on there. Instead of going over this mountain, I'm just going to go over into this valley and I'm going to kind of just rest out there for a while and reevaluate what I'm doing and decide where to go next. Or am I wrong? No, that's where we're doing. Because I feel like you're changing your goal and you're just kind of moving over to the side. It's kind of like you've gotten this far down the path. You were going to go across this mountain. But instead, you could go down into this valley and just kind of rest it out there and decide what you want to do next. And I feel like that's what you're doing. The yin-yang with the strength is telling me, you know what? I've kind of traveled long enough. I'm just not going to, I'm not going to tackle this mountain right now, basically. I'm going to stay what I've fortified. I've gotten enough here that I'm happy where I am. And I'm going to just reevaluate. But the strength card is telling me you're not completely satisfied with this. But it's kind of like, I feel like I've used up a lot of my resources, and I just feel like it could be quite 
It's kind of like you don't got the full amount of you don't got the full arsenal you would need to get across this mountain just now, and I feel like that's the problem. You're kind of like I'm feeling like I'm a little bit depleted, and I need a break. So I'm gonna go into this valley, and I'm just gonna stay there for a while. Doesn't mean I won't conquer this mountain later, but for right now, I'm gonna sustain and just hold to the side and just enjoy where I am. Um, maybe later you'll continue on the fight, but for right now, I feel like you're just sustaining where you are. That's where that's ending. All right, I think we're done. I feel like the whole point of this is um, don't let this roadblock defeat you. Because they're saying, yes, there's a roadblock here, and yes, you're going to sustain for a while. This doesn't mean you won't attain your goal later on down the road. It just means for now, you're going to have to take a break. It's kind of like we're going into winter, or at least in the northern hemisphere, we're going into winter. Things are freezing over. But winter will pass. And when spring comes around, new possibilities come around as well. So there, I feel like that's the thing with this. It doesn't mean you're not going to get your goal. It just means for now, it's going to go on ice. You're going to get so far, you're going to make a good amount of distance on this, but ultimately you're not going to achieve your goal at this time. It's going to go, going to go on ice for a little while, and we'll see later where, where it goes from there. All right, I hope that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is james, the number four, astral at gmail.com. Thank you.